All right, folks, what I'm doing is an MHD tune. Um, I'm actually going to do a stage two with uh, the 95, even though I'm only running 91 because I have methanol injection. I'm not, I did it as a precaution, so I'm not really gaining much from it. I'm lowering my uh, intake ambient temperature. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm using it as a safeguard because I don't have a flow meter on it or anything like that. So uh, what I will do, because I'm going to be gaining all this octane, is just put it on because I have it on MHD stage 2 plus at 91 octane. And I'm figuring it might as well go with uh, the 95 octane because I'm going to have over 110 to 120 octane so when I'm spraying so I'll get started 20 amp fuse that's yellow that's the fuel pump fuse that needs to be pulled out that's you don't have to do that it's just it's I have a battery charger on and that's also recommended Definitely want to pull the fuse if you don't have a battery charger because that's you don't want your fuel pump running, it doesn't need to run. I don't even know how good it is for it, I'm sure it's not going to kill it, but it's probably not the best for it. So, that's my methanol injection. I have a custom charge pipe, high uh, flow drop in filter, and I had a dual clone intake, but it gets hot here in Arizona, and I was gaining more power with the lower intake temps versus the higher flow so but now that it's winter time i could probably change that up and actually get more power uh with the dual cone because it's winter so but in the summertime in arizona i could just keep it that way because i wasn't gaining anything from it unless i had uh inlets for the turbo which obviously they would be over here and i would have some badass i know they have two and a half ones but i'd really like to fit the threes and I which I have set up it's just like there's a lot of shit you got to do to get those in so that's another day so anyway what I'm gonna do now is I connected the battery charger you know right there <clears throat> okay I got a, a KD can, if you can see it. Let's get this sucker zoomed in. KD can cable. Um, where did I get this? All I know, I got a, you know what, I'll put it in the, I'll put it down in the description. I kind of having a brain fart right now, but. Uh, you want to get it from a reputable company, um, regardless if they're selling green boards. There is an eBay company that guaranteed it 100%. And I went through a couple of those. I actually went through three with eBay before I got this cable uh, from the company. It's just not worth the hassle, man. It took months of my time to get a good cable, which, which sucked. Anyway, so, okay. So you turn the ignition on. Okay, ignition on. Uh, if you have a, if you have your daytime driving lights off, go into your menu and turn them off. Plug in your KD can. You got your other uh, OTG cable right here. It could have a wire to it. This is, I just have this one right now. I have like three of them. But, uh. You know what? I'm going to actually plug this in first. It's hard to do this right here. Let me see. Is that better? Yes. Okay, hopefully it's not too blurry. Plug it in, make sure it's in right, because you don't want to mess your port up. This is just an S3, which it's a good enough phone for me. So, but probably any Android of, uh, device you can do this with. 
my cables plugged in okay I go to flash and MHD map make sure you're in airplane mode which that's what I did okay and okay so I'm now onto the maps and because I have methanol injection and uh, I'm not running a flow meter or anything like that I'm just using it for safety just a basic just to lower my intake temps and to uh, give me a little higher octane make it safer safeguard type deal um, so I'm not really turning the car up so much to where I need it but now I'm just gonna add I'm going to do the stage 2 plus, but I'm running a 91, but I just got new Delphi's and cooler plugs, and I have uh, catless downpipes. I have a good upgraded charge pipe, a drop-in filter, a big, large, huge front mount intercooler, uh, secondary cats deleted, and I'm spraying methanol, so I could do the 95, because I'm running the 91 right now. Uh, usually you want to put the phone somewhere like not where your leg is because if it fails your car is going to be out of commission but you don't have to worry because um, you can always just rewrite it unless your cable screwed up which the last cable that I got was writing for only a brief period of time uh, the other ones didn't work all together, but the, one of them worked only long enough to fuck my car up to where I had to wait till this other cable came to, to flash it. So yeah, you're going to have some weird things going on with your cluster. So pretty much if I didn't unplug the fuel pump uh, fuse, it would be running constantly right now. And definitely make sure you're in air airplane mode. And you can turn off the lights just to conserve power if you like. That's pretty much it. I mean, you got your KD CAN cable. Okay. Um, I'll definitely tell you where I got it it's a beamer something maybe it's beamer boost I don't, I don't remember but it's uh what's the name of the company actually it was this other company that was on the invoice but I will definitely put it on the link uh, and I'll just put it in the description or uh, I'll link it somewhere so you could you know where to buy a good KD can because you really don't want to risk it. It is a pain in the butt to order uh, multiple cables. It's just worth paying the 40 bucks instead of paying 20 bucks and having it not work or 10 bucks and it not working and waiting for something to come from China and they have local sellers selling them. And they're selling bad ones so even if you think it's local it's I just won't get them from this one company oh okay I'm done so that's pretty much it and I could just unplug it I guess and um, you know I'll put the fuel pump in and I'll start her up 
and see what's going on. And don't shut your door on your table, like I almost did. Oh yeah, that my little one, one uh, thirty-five is kick ass. That's a six-speed manual. So I got the best of both worlds. I got a six-speed manual, which an automatic one would be nice too because they're so fast. Like these things are a monster, but you know you can only do so much if you're drag racing with the manual. I mean, it's all up to you. I could drag race pretty good. It's just never going to be as fast as an automatic. And plus, you got a lot of money into clutches with a uh, manual, too. You got to think about that. Stage five clutches, all that stuff, you're talking a couple grand. And then they have the welded, uh, the welded uh, gear, ring gear on the rear, in the rear differential. It's bullshit. I mean, it's, you have to buy one from an automatic with a different gear ratio, put it in there. Uh, that's a bolt-on to do the limited slip. These things you can just pop it out, unbolt it, put in the limited slip, which this is an X drive, which is awesome. I love the way it pulls, but I'd like to put a limited slip, at least in the rear axle, uh, just because it's just a little that extra with the X drive, but I'm not gonna, I wouldn't do that unless I had it up to seven, 800 rear wheel, so. But anyway, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the fuse in and start her. Hopefully, she starts up. That's good. She's running. And if I could figure this out. And all I need to do now is get some fuel for her. But she's running, man. So. We'll see. Probably do a little test ride. My little 135. I might as well fire her up while I'm doing it. This one has a JD4. JD4 G5 ISO. And I'm gonna do an MHD uh, back end probably. Or I might just go MHD altogether. I just like the options up with the JB4, so. Anyway. My baby's next to each other. Kind of hard to, a lot of glare. So let's do a carbon monoxide special over here since we're already uh, rocking. What lurks over here? Ooh. What is this? What have we here? Eight piston calipers, huh? Whoo! Ooh, we what have we here? Boys and girls, what have we here? What have we here? Damn, baby. I like that 200 mile an hour deal. This bitch is uh got a little more it's got more power than the Hellcat. He needs it. It's a must have. So anyway, that's the little MHD tune. Usually it takes about 35 minutes. 
I recommend you backing your ECU up, however, I never do, and I guess you don't have to. I just, you know, I do that shit. Or I don't do that shit, so. Anyway, yep. I'd like to shift it. Too bad I don't have paddle shifters right now, but here we go. Let's just, let's see here. I got a freaking dick. This, uh, there's always assholes that want to pull right in front of the fucking car that's going, you know? zoomed in right it's underneath the headrest of my car so do a s slow second start because there's bumps here we go drive so you can get away with the traction off all the way Let's see what, what's going on <laughs> still a little faster than that bump even with the Connie's like an asshole like that I just uh, I don't even know if it got it but I don't even know what's up dude so I guess the test drive is successful so that's that motherfucker bam yeah careful easy Easy, 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 easy. So that's it, man. We're uh, rocking and rolling.